Hi everyone, welcome to Botanical Colors. Today we're going to briefly walk through how to create a 123 indigo vat using fructose. This is one of the easiest vats to set up and consistently gives good color. First, gather your ingredients. You will need powdered indigo, calcium hydroxide, fructose, and very hot water, about 175 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. A five gallon bucket is a good choice to make your vat in. These ingredients are non-toxic, but the fine powders can be irritating and gloves, eye protection, and a dust mask are highly recommended. To calculate the quantities of your ingredients, you first have to decide what shade of blue you want to dye using your vat. The amount of dye is expressed as grams of indigo per liter of liquid in the vat, or GPL. As a general rule, two to two and a half GPL makes for a light blue vat, three to six GPL makes for a medium blue vat, and seven to 10 GPL makes for a dark blue vat. Once you know this number, you can calculate the other ingredients based on it. Our example is using a five gallon bucket, which is approximately 19 liters. However, we want to leave some room to add fibers without overflowing the bucket. So we will make a vat of 16 liters. We'll make a medium blue vat with five GPL. Five grams multiplied by the number of liters in our vat, 16, is 80 grams of indigo. The other ingredients are calculated as one part indigo to two parts calcium hydroxide and three parts fructose. So with 80 grams of indigo, we will use 160 grams of calcium hydroxide and 240 grams of fructose. Once you have your ingredients all measured out, you're ready to begin. Add 14 liters of hot water to your bucket, reserving two liters. We'll use the last two liters to dissolve all of the dry ingredients. Wet out your indigo by adding a little bit of the very hot reserved two liters to it and stir it until the indigo is wet. Add this to your vat and use a bit of water to rinse your tools and make sure you get all of the indigo into the vat. Next, hydrate and dissolve your fructose. Add this to the vat and use some more water to rinse your tools. Finally, hydrate and wet out your calcium hydroxide. This will not fully dissolve and the solution will look like milk. Add this to your vat and use some more water to rinse out your tools. If you have any water left from the two liters, add it to the vat as well. Stir the vat well with a wooden broomstick or a dowel for two to three minutes. A cluster of bubbles called an indigo flower will form. Slowly pull the broomstick out of the vat when you're done stirring. Now allow the vat to settle. As your vat rests, the indigo flower will float on top and the surface of the vat will have a coppery sheen or skin. Below that, the liquid should become a clear yellow or amber color within about 30 minutes. At this point, you can let the vat cool until it is comfortable for you to place your hands into it and begin dipping. The strength of the vat will deepen after it sits for a couple of days as the indigo benefits from curing in the vat. If you want to wait to start dipping, you can reheat the vat to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit using a bucket heater, stir the vat well, and let it settle again for about 20 minutes before dipping. 